It's not about left or right. It's about a one world government. This film documents who Obama works for, the lies he has told, and his real agenda. Get your copy of The Obama Deception today at Infowars.com or download it in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. The Obama Deception. The people strike back. Have you ever read the ingredients in your skin creams, personal hygiene products, vitamins, or herbal supplements? Did you know that most skin creams, body lotions, shampoos, and toothpastes contain chemical additives such as sodium lauryl sulfate, the same type of detergent used in dish soap? Did you know that many multivitamin supplements are made from synthetic vitamins? Do your herbal remedies have unwanted additives and fillers? Have you ever tested your body's pH level? Make the change to organic health and beauty products. Visit tobenatural.com and order today. 2BNatural.com carries exclusive, all-natural, chemical-free skin care, hair care, whole food vitamins, herbal remedies, and alkaline body balance supplements. Visit 2BNatural.com. That's T-O-B-E-Natural.com. 2BNatural.com. Use coupon code RADIO for a 15% discount and free alkaline food chart. Call 1-888-417-1375. That's 1-888-417-1375 to order or request your free catalog. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. so much for joining us on april 15th this is when for the last 94 years you pay your income taxes the private run for profit federal reserve all on interest of the debt now 12.8 trillion they've stolen the last six months in a bipartisan uh heist that's going on they have us all confused with a false left-right paradigm that's how they control us we are trying to break the people out of this and get back to liberty versus tyranny and uh, we are simulcasting uh, with uh, one of the most popular, pro quote, progressive or liberal talk show host in the country, Tom Hartman, syndicated across the country. Uh, Mr. Hartman, it's good to have you with us. Hey, Alex Jones, how are you? I am good. You are very loud. <laughs> I, I am very loud. Okay, well, I certainly heard that. Hey, listen, it's good to have you here, but uh, why don't you just go ahead and start the interview off here? Okay, well, it's, it's not so much an interview as a simulcast. We're going to do our shows together here, right? Absolutely, but I'm um, going to let you have the opening salvo here because okay, I'm, right. I, I mean, I'm literally shirtless here after just writing a huge income tax check to the private bankers uh, who are uh, bringing in the world government and publicly announcing it. Yeah, well, I was just I was just talking about my concern that uh, Barack Obama is uh, ha in his speech yesterday was talking about how uh, if we give money to banks, every dollar to a bank produces eight or eight to ten dollars in loans, whereas if we give a dollar to individuals, it's only a dollar. And and I'm very concerned that he's under the sway. Of of the Geithners and the uh, and the uh, Summerses of the world, and and he's going down the Bill Clinton road. But that's that's a separate thing. Alex Jones, you have a new uh, DVD out. It's called The Obama Deception, and uh, people can find it over at your website, Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com, and what AlexJones.com. What's which one do you want to? No, it's just uh, Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com. And by the way, if you just Google The Obama Deception. Uh, there's a couple of cruddy Google versions, but go to YouTube. Uh, it'll say uh, Obama Deception High Quality. It's like the third or fourth link. It's right. got about a million four hundred thousand views or so. That's the best free copy I've seen on the web. So I would just tell your listeners, please don't believe me. I cut my teeth, you know, going after Clinton. I was called a right winger. Then I went after Bush because he was violating the Constitution, and I was called, uh, you, you know, a, a communist. They said I secretly worked for Al Qaeda. I mean, literally. I worked for George Soros, they said. And then uh, we get Barack Obama in. Uh, they're now saying I'm a right-wing fascist Nazi in league with Hitler. And so I want people to actually see the film uh, because it's what you just brought up. Right. You have Geithner, the head of the New York Fed, in league uh, with the head of Goldman Sachs, uh, who was Treasury Secretary at the time, uh, literally handing over unlimited power and control bipartisanly to these offshore banks. And, and Obama has lied about hiring lobbyists, lied about the war, uh, lied about warrantless wiretapping and, and secret arrest and rights for detainees. And then he lied about saying that he was... Uh, uh, fighting against the bonuses when he signed the executive order and told Senator Dodd to pass the uh, rider on the bill uh, so that they could take the money. I mean, all I'm saying is Barack Obama is as phony as a $3 bill, and Barack Obama is the New World Order's closer. The, the establishment was worried about the left waking up to 
what the corporate system was doing. There was a real revolution in this uh, country. The left and the right were coming together as populists. Here's, well, here, and here's what's, here's what's happening, Alex Jones, is that I, while I'm reluctant to use the word lied because, uh, well, it's just it's a slap. And, and, and frankly, a lot of us worked really hard to get Barack Obama elected and think that at the core he's a decent guy. The guy was a constitutional scholar. I was shocked when a constitutional scholar voted for FISA. I was shocked when, uh, you know, the, the list of things of what you described as lies is, is, is accurate, to the best of my knowledge. And, and now, you know, with Bagram, and there, he's, you know, his administration is saying, oh, yeah, we can, uh, we can detain people uh, forever with no habeas corpus, just not at Guantanamo. We just move them to Bagram. And I'm like, wait a minute, this isn't what I voted for. On the other hand, uh, you know, and I think that there's a number of areas where you and I uh, probably have shared what uh, uh, folks outside of our, our respective circles might refer to as conspiracy theories. There are others where we probably, uh, where I'm sure we differ. Um, but, uh, for example, I, you, you, uh, you, you set up your movie with this thing about the Bilderberg Group, and, um, and yet you're going on Fox News, which is, uh, you know, you realize Rupert Murdoch has shown up at Bilderberg meetings. Uh, sir, uh, I mean, I go on your show. I go. <laughs> yeah, on okay. Ira- All right. All I, I right. mean, I go on Iranian TV. And yeah. by point, the way, point, uh, point made. But I, I, I'm what I'm saying is that this isn't a secret conspiracy. The conspiracy is right out there for everyone to see. They're rubbing our faces in it. It doesn't. It doesn't require a bunch of people sitting in a in a closed room to plot the 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 future of the world. They're doing it right out in front of us. This whole thing. You know, my biggest concern, frankly, is the Federalist Society. This group of this right wing group that has taken over our courts that believes that corporations should have the same rights as persons. Well, absolutely. Look, they they've co opted and control the right, as you know. And now they're trying to co-opt these tea parties. Uh, these tea parties have been going on for a year or longer. 9-11 Truth actually started the tea parties, and you had liberals, conservatives, really fusing together as constitutionalists, people that wanted liberty. And then we see a clear operative. I mean, there's no doubt. I've seen him going off scripts. Uh, Mr. Becky coming out now trying to co-opt these, the local neocon host, who are totally discredited in every city. It came out that over a million Iraqis died. It came out they lied about WMDs. It came out that they were for the police state and even gun control. And so conservatives... The Bush administration. Yes, the Bush administration. So they've all basically left the Republican Party. And so the Republican Party is trying to latch on. That's what Fox News and others are doing. Right, so so they're, they're phony populists. They're exactly. phony populists. I mean, you got Dick Army out there. Dick Army, who is a a lobbyist, right, for for the interests of the very wealthy and powerful in this country. He's a lobbyist for pharmaceutical companies. He's a. I mean, I, I went through the list earlier. I, I'm not sure where it is in my stack. My explosion of papers here all over the desk right oh, now. Dick Army but, is the consummate lobbyist, just like everybody else in right, Washington. And, and, and his Freedom Watch is one of the groups that is really, really pushing these tea parties. And it's like, you know, I don't get it how 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 the average working person. And here you're approaching it arguably from the right, and I'm approaching it arguably from the left. And and yet I think that there there are a variety of areas where the, uh, Americans are being asked to say that they're right or left, being asked. To define themselves as Republicans or Democrats when neither party is addressing their interests in many real ways. Now, I think that my, my, my solution to this, I think in some ways may be very different from yours, Alex, and I'd, I'd like to get your take on this. My solution to this is that we infiltrate the political parties. I mean, if you and I wanted to take over NBC, we'd have to have hundreds of billions of dollars. No way we could do it. But the Republican Party and the Democratic Party are both standing out there with enormous power and levers of power and millions of dollars and they're standing out there saying please show up and volunteer for the meetings and in my book screwed i document how uh, in 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 colorado in new mexico and in oregon activists showed up at the county level and and took over the local democratic no, no, that's parties. exactly what i'm saying we've been taking over the Jim system for my you still 20 this morning. Right a fire when you're ready. Right. coin can be purchased for 9 for the half ounce and 2 for a quarter ounce. That's 9 and 2 We've been hearing the USA has been spending money faster than tax collections. Now the government has published the document that sounds the alarm. That's right, the United States Government Accountability Office, the GAO, has published the long-term fiscal outlook document, clearly stating that the federal debt burden is spiraling out of control, This will directly affect programs like Social Security to FDIC's ability to insure bank deposits. 
Taxation and inflationary printing of the U.S. dollar are inevitable pressures facing the economy. Get this document free by calling 800-686-2237. The U.S. GAO has spelled it out in black and white. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237.